Hello brothers and sisters, you're looking at a diamond painting I did in the background there. Um, fitting for keeping our eyes and our mind on Christ and our Heavenly Father, um, God, our Father, and how um, He gave His whoops, only begotten Son in order that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed but have everlasting life. That's a Bible scripture quote right there. Exercising faith. So I'm making this um, video because I was inspired to. The Holy Spirit finally hit. I've been really, really sick all day and I'm learning how I have to be patient God's patience and my patience is sufficient. It, um, it works in us a new spirit and teaches us things that we need to know that are very important. I'm not saying it the way I wanted to from the scriptures because while I feel the Holy Spirit, um, I'm still really tired from the sickness. So I've been absolutely exhausted. You see, like, even once you're freed in Christ, you still have, are growing in your new identity. And I keep switching hands and moving the phone around because of the pain in my arms. It's, it's necessary for us to suffer, says the Bible, and I'm going to be making a lot of videos on what I learned about the purpose of suffering and having to suffer with and in Christ. It's very important and it works some wonderful things in us. But, um, you know, often I'm so sick. Today I could hardly take the garbage out without falling down. And then I could hardly just walk back to the house without falling down. Or even um, walking across uh, my my room. I mean my house. And a person can be discouraged because I want to do God's will. I have so much I want to tell people. But it's on their time and not in our own strength. For the power beyond what is normal is not of ourselves or our own will or wish, but of God's. Um, and so in line with that, um, there was a, a, by the way, we're, I'm here to give you more information on grace versus the law. Are you under law or are you freed by, by Jesus Christ in grace and grace passes over everything and now you're, you're sealed in Christ. So I talked about what grace definitely isn't. I made a part one video on that. This is going to be my part two video, but it's not going to be the video I was going to bring you on grace, uh, which was going to be everything that grace is. So we already did what it's not. But there is a brother out there who found my channel. Uh, the Holy Spirit led him to me, which is amazing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And he found my channel and he um, started talking to me on my channel and he was saying this is all that he knows and he's getting, you know, heavy, heavy, uh, what's the word? You know, he's getting a bit persecuted. Like people don't like this message because they're viewing it from a human perspective. They don't understand and it's our wish that you can understand. Now, I'll make a disclaimer. I'm, this is a couple of disclaimers. This is not the videos that helped me when I broke and died to self and was reborn in Christ with a new identity and set free in Christ, no longer a slave to the bondages of sin, um, but a free adopted daughter of, of God in the body of Christ. Um, this is not the videos I was talking about that I started to watch, which I'm still watching. It's been two and a half weeks now of still being molded and learning and it's not the only thing I'm doing I read my bible and stuff but I was led to this man and he was led to me and he says he learned the same thing and I watched one of his videos the first one that's on his channel current currently I mean the last one that was made and um this video is in exactly in line with what I was trying to tell you all but I think he's delivered it much better than I can. And, um, and isn't it amazing because my headaches and sickness used to be at its worst at night. But when 
my Heavenly Father decides to give me his Holy Spirit, those headaches go away at night and without beer. You see, it's on their time when we live in the Spirit. Uh, so I'm learning how to accept and wait patient when I have to be really ill and I can't do anything. Like today, I actually tried to do a few things for God on my own will. And then after I told God I'm going to do it and that I was trying to twist his mind into thinking it was his will because it's got to be right. I mean, it comes from scripture, blah, blah, blah. Because I just I want people to know so bad and it wasn't working. I'm like, okay, I'm going to submit. I, I can't do it. I'm just going to, I don't know, try to find a wholesome movie, um, maybe try some food, get off my fasting right now and um, put this day behind me kind of thing. But no, I still wanted more from, from others. So I went to the other fellow that I've been watching that helped me with my whole new identity in Christ to bring back things I used to know and preach but forgot and added some new things to it. And then the Holy Spirit, so I went and watched one of that man's videos, which soon I'm going to be, um, after probably my next part about my testimony, um, part three, I'm probably going, then I'll start giving you the videos and sort of like, in order that I was watching them as I, God was training me. Um, and probably like in playlists that will help people that are going through different things. So anyways, after I watched one of his videos, I decided to go watch this man, this other man's videos who found me here on YouTube or his video. Now I can't speak for the rest of his videos or beliefs. Um, I cannot say whether uh, that I see see that in the Bible or, or that God and Christ in me agree with that. So, you know, uh, but I can say that, so like take it with a grain of salt, you know, we all have to be careful. Um, you, you even have to be careful about me. You know, we all have to, to watch how we walk and we have to conduct ourselves it, with what sort of persons ought you to be in deeds of holy conduct and acts of god, godly devotion says the bible and then it it gives the qualifier you know we have to carefully keep examining the scriptures and test the spirit that we're not of the evil spirit but anyway so that video is epic you you did a really good job my brother so i'm sending people over to you so please um check this video out and um yeah, tell, I want to know what you guys are learning in the comment section here and, and what you're learning, what you learned from there and the other videos that I'll soon be sending you guys to. Um, I'm really hoping you guys can get the sense of it. Uh, I'll tell you what happened to me last night, which is I think is important for you guys to, under, to know because it, it's about you. It's about you personally, all of you, each individually. So I'll probably make a separate video for that. Okay, so in the um, comment box, the pinned comment at the top, will have the link to this man's video. And not only was it exactly what I just learned recently in the last two and a half weeks, but um, it is, and it explains it well, both grace and the law of works. And... It also held in the middle of it a piece I was missing. So thank you, my brother. Thank you, Father. All praise to our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. And, um, yeah, feeling much better, but still kind of groggy. Okay, take care. Ciao, ciao. Love you all. Oh, and then I, I will also put it out um, as a uh, in a community chat so that it, his video comes up being shown too in case I missed any of you. Okay, ciao ciao, love you all. Bye, take care.